This camera contraption captures quite nice images, it seems. Uh, camera? Yes, we recently imported a new product from Fontaine. It's supposed to be very popular over there at the moment. It's a device that, well, you press a button and it makes an image on a piece of paper. They're calling it a camera. I must say, I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. Have you heard of such a device? I like to think they pronounce this Camera. Camera. Yeah, you know what? Let's go Camera. Camera. Or Camera. Damn, why am I so. Camera. Uh, camera. I have heard of similar products. Really? <laughs> well, I suppose I should have expected you to be more knowledgeable than me as a traveler. Oh my god, Damon. Sorry, I don't want my soul stolen by your soul stealing box. Shame. <laughs> Shame! Our young master is also taking a great liking to this camera. He's convinced that it will sell very well. But given that this would be the very first sale of this device, we don't have any guarantee that it will be a success. As such, we have decided to run a trial event where citizens can come and have a free photograph taken first. To our surprise, it was rather well received. Quite a few people offered to make uh, to pay a small fee for us to just bring the camera to them and take a picture. But some people also requested that we have the image framed and mounted and delivered it to them. But the people coming to us have their pictures taken as now growing by the day. I had intended to discuss the situation with the young master, but he's gone for several days now. In the meantime, we don't want to neglect our customers, so we've been doing our best to attend to everyone who comes to have their picture taken. But there are so many people now that we're struggling to keep up top of demand. Traveler, could you do me a favor and deliver these two pictures to our customers? <laughs> I'd like to have my picture taken too. Um, oh, yes, stretch. <sighs> uh, it's going all right, I guess. Um, let's see. Do, do I do I ask? Do I say that I want to have my picture taken, or just be? You know what? I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'm not going to be a gremlin. You have my thanks, truly. There should be names in the back of these. Oh, I must have forgotten to write them down in my hurry. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try to find them based on the pictures. They're very clear, so you should be able to be able to identify them when you need to go at a glance. Again, thank you. I apologize, but I must attend to other matters. Okay. So. Let's see, we got two camera pictures. Camera pictures. Uh, uh, yeah, camera pictures. Okay, it's her, the old lady, and I think I have no yeah, oh yeah, you're the presenter that's uh up there. Okay, so I like this? how you when you explore the um town well enough you just know who these people are. And you could immediately identify them. I've, it's really nice. I've only like explored like some of these places once like this area up here, I've only been here like I guess okay, maybe twice, three times actually. Um, but well, like the it, fact that you recognize them still, mm -hmm. and I recognize, yeah, it's th yeah, this guy who's kind of like going off about some whatever the heck he's going, he goes off of about. Is something the matter mm, about the camera? Ah, right, right. I did go to Feiyun Commerce Guild to request that they take a picture of me here. How is it? Has the picture already been printed? Let me have a look. Oh, this is not bad at all. Thank you for making the trip here. Yeah, you know what? And despite the fact that these NPCs, like, you know, a lot of them have sort of like just... Kind of not many, that many differentiating features, I guess you could say. Like, I... I know who they are. Um, like, I, I basically... It's because of the, uh, the commission system. Uh, the commission system were like you kind of uh, well, I guess if you're like me, you can like to run around certain places, 
that you kind of run across certain areas multiple times. And like you just kind of remember certain features, certain things that people say. Oh, what's the matter? Um, about the camera. Camera. Ah, yes. Oh, whoops. Did you come here specifically, especially to deliver my picture? Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. So if you hold a button down, you don't automatically uh, go into autoplay mode. Interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Aura Guardian, I, I know you're trying to make a joke there, but yeah, no, I actually did recognize stuff. It's it's really weird. Like, I don't do that for many other games, but in this game, I can do that pretty good. I, mean, I guess it's also maybe because, like, the cartoony style character caricatures and stuff like that, you know, kind of, uh... Well, I don't know if it's really cartoony cartoony, but... Like, I can't remember the names, but I have an idea. Uh, uh, just where has he gone wandering off this time? Honestly. Oh, my apologies. How may the Feyun Commerce Guild be of assistance to you, good sirs? Um... Sirs? Yes, I'm referring to you. The vast majority of visitors here are in big business, so I've accustomed, I've become accustomed to speaking politely. What's more, the master here has made it clear. If you want to be in business, you be polite to everyone. If you treat people by their pinches, one day you're going to offend someone very important. Call it a business principle, the Feyun Commerce Guild, if you will. Okay, I believe you. Have you managed to deliver the pictures? Yep. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry to, for troubling you, but we're barely keeping our heads above the water here. Ah, yes. Uh, please take this camera as, camera as thanks for your help. Um, this should be... Um, is this expensive? It's no problem. I mean, you did help us, didn't you? It's not exceedingly expensive object either. It's just a sample that our partners in Fontaine gave us. There are some differences between it and the official model, but the basic functions are all there. It'll definitely be enough for your needs. And if you take a liking, you can also help us with some advertising here and there. <clears throat> yeah, regardless, thanks for your help, and please, take this camera for, with you. For just delivering two pictures! There it is. Okay, so you can just make quick, take quick pictures at any moment then, huh? So basically we could be in the middle of a battle and then be like... Let me take a selfie. I was hoping to, make, to do poses here, but uh... Yeah. I mean, that's- I feel like that's getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere with that. So basically- basically it wants to come up with a gesture system. I feel like that's basically- that's like we're steps away from an actual gesture system. Wait, what? So, thinking, alpha, happy. <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> I suppose that, that could be a thing there too. Um... What else do we have here is options, close-up camera, no, um... Jesus <laughs> Christ, I did the, um, the expression change thing for Zhongli and it is barely noticeable. <laughs> oh, you have to have friendship levels to unlock certain emo emotions. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. So, ah, this should make some uh, uh, a bunch of uh, people happy to see. Happy Mona. <laughs> ah, you have to have a high enough friendship with them to be able to disappoint <laughs> them. I've never actually seen that that uh, animation up close, huh? Okay, so happy, and then disappointed. <laughs> Folks, don't make her disappointed. Why would you ever want to make her disappointed? I've been having to use a different uh, alchemy station for a while now. <laughs> I was like, when I saw Sucrose, there, I was like, oh, I guess I can't come here, huh? Looks like Timaeus nope. isn't here today. Customers? Um, pardon me. Are you looking for Timaeus? No, no. Just strange for him to not be around. Paimon always sees him standing here. I must say, I like this autoplay stuff so far. It feels so nice to let things move forward naturally and such. I see. He was called away by Albedo a little while ago. I was called over to attend to the store. I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I do my best to help. So, two things. Uh, I didn't even realize she had ears. I thought that was part of her hair, but I guess mm -hmm. those are ears. Uh, Pardon kind of also feels like this, like just the way she's talking makes me think that she's either like someone that could be played by like Oogie or Ribbon Heart. Do I look nervous? M my apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. If you need any help, just call my name. If not, I'll... I'll be reading a book. Over there. Mm -hmm. Thanks! No worries, we're all clued up on the basics of alchemy, aren't we? Mm-hmm, no need to trouble you. Hey! Aren't you the legendary traveler? The one who repelled Storm Terror? Uh, that's a bit, uh, a bit much legendary. Um, I've heard so many stories knows. about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. <laughs> what do you mean, research? Uh, sorry, don't mind me. What am I saying? Still, you'd definitely be able to help Albedo. It is you, after all. There's that name again, Albedo! Is he also an alchemist in Mondstadt? <laughs> I don't know, let's ask Albedo. <laughs> See, Twilight told me that she grew her hair out to hide her ears. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, there's lots of interesting character stuff and all the character sh mm -hmm. shit that happens. Like the... I... Pretty sure I heard the alchemist talk about Albedo. Apologies. I never introduced him. Albedo is the Knights of Favonius' chief alchemist. He's also Timaeus and my teacher. But Paimon's only ever seen Timaeus teaching alchemy. So that means Albedo is a teacher teacher? Yes. He's dedicated himself to investigating the truth of this world and has made many an important breakthrough. We often get alchemists coming to Mondstadt from all over Tevat, seeking his help. They say that the subtlest of guidance from Mr. Albedo helps him to solve the most unfathomable of problems. You know, it's... I find it just a little slight bit of a shame that uh, there's no proper lip syncing here. Because uh, like some of the moments where like you actually see their mouth moving almost like the right way, or just those little spinning moments, like it just, it just feels nice to see that, but... Probably lip syncing probably be, uh, uh, in a future update. Uh, and I and I know that there is there. I'm pretty sure there is a simple um, Unity plugin they could add in here. They they have used plenty of Unity plugins. Like you know that the whole climbing on on walls and stuff like that, climb on everything. I I don't remember what it is, but I know that is, I, that is a very familiar Unity plugin that exists. They actually worked with Unity themselves. Wait, what? Did they? Um, yeah, with the Unity team for a lot of the stuff. 
Huh. Because that looks like something I've seen in other places before. Like, this is well, no, they're specific. using Unity plugins, but they also worked with the guys at Unity for some oh. Of the stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, my point was uh, the, 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 you know, get the, yeah. look for the lip sync uh, uh, plugin. See, I'm starting, kind of starting to appreciate the subtlety of Paimon's comments. <sighs> Understandable. Yeah, uh, Paimon, Paimon is such an enigma. Like, you know, Paimon is such, is, is, is a bit of a gremlin, but like, sometimes she just says some things that are just like, huh, thinking, thinking emoji there. See you, Speedy. Mm-hmm. Still, it seems that he's encountered a problem in his research recently. Every time I see him, he has a concerned look on his face. Uh, Rob, so I I could be wrong, but I think there is like plugins. I think there's probably maybe either a modifiable plugin, or at the very least something something that's very simple. Like it doesn't, it can be just as cheap looking as Trials of Mana, but uh, it does exist. Let's see. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. I'm so sure someone as smart as him could use my help. I'm sure that Albedo would love to hear about your incredible exploits. I know it would bring him lots of new inspiration. Albedo is a true gentleman. He'll be sure to pay you back in equal measure for helping him out. Yeah, okay, I think the, I know the reason why I said like it would be nice to keep to see the, the lip syncing. Uh, it doesn't even have to match up. It does not have to match up. It just needs to stop ending so short because like she looks more adorable when she's like you can see her like, kind of like, smiling and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> can he make Paimon stronger? You know what? Sure, we'll go with that. Can he <clears throat> can he make Paimon stronger? Uh Paimon doesn't need any help in that department. But if Albedo wants to pay Paimon back for helping him, a few Mora might settle the score. <laughs> Hmm. Albedo and Tameis will be conducting research in the mountains right now. I'd love to take you both to see him, but somebody has to attend to the store. I'm afraid you'll have to go to the entrance to the pass and look for him by yourselves. Look out for a refined gentleman with the presence of a true scholar. And... Um... Sorry. That's the best I can do. You'll have to do your best. Hey, stop worrying! We got this! Constantly hearing dog on the corner there. Sucrose is a whole lot less nervous when she gets talking about alchemy and research, huh? Is that what all researchers are like? <laughs> anyway, let's go and look for Albedo. Welcome. Hey, Albedo, do you happen to know where Albedo's at? I don't know. Y yes, Rudy? Alberto, you couldn't possibly be right there, could you? Oh wait, dialogue. There, Sorry. No, 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 it already ended. Oh. Look, there he is, or not. Is 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 that, is that really him? Could he possibly be hiding behind? Wait till you have Albedo talk to Albedo. <laughs> uh, can I have this? Ah, uh, uh, I was trying to have see if I can have him in the shot here with uh, Sucrose. Hold on, hold on. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's still wait. Maybe it's still wait to do this. <laughs> with the FOV super out like that, sure, maybe. Who boy, are we playing uh, uh, Unreal Tournament here? Going out into the world and investigating, turning the unknown into the known. <sighs> oh, might as well. Oh, got my max. Wait. Welcome. How can I help you? My apologies. I don't really know how else to describe him. If I could sketch you his portrait, I would. But my pencil strokes are no match for his. Okay. Well. 
Let us go and uh, meet him then. So here's a question. See, do I walk all that way? Do I walk the entire way or do I just simply just teleport to the closest thing? And teleport to the closest way. Ah! A side shot? Yeah, there's oh, a lot of them. I should have done a side shot. Oh well. But yeah, there's a lot of character details that are just in the character bios themselves mm -hmm. that add a whole bunch of shit to characters that you wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I know for Child, at one point, it straight up says, yeah, do you want to know why he is the way he is? When he was 14, he ran out into the forest to find adventure and then literally fell into hell itself. Oh, uh, I should probably say don't, don't, don't go into detail. What? Yeah. <laughs> but like, it is like that, but the thing is like, none of these details are like, necessarily there in the character or anything that you see from what happens to them mm -hmm. in the game. Right? So it's like, wait, when was this a part of the character? You know? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get rid of you. This world is it's... full of unsolved mysteries. Wrong character. Were you excited the else, hon? But like, like, there's things like, um, I know with the Diona, it's like... That thing with the, um... With the alcoholic dad and everything, that just never comes up in any of her gameplay or any side stories that may or may not involve her. You know, mm -hmm. or like lots of character details that just you don't see it unless you have the character. I mean, mm, yeah, yeah, that's right. No, there was there was an instance where it's sort of kind of mentioned. Um, at some point, I don't know what interaction it was, but it was it was more around uh, Alan, I think, Alan, uh, Alan, and uh, uh, at nighttime. But I'm only yeah. remember that from the uh, uh, close beta. But still, it's just like there's a lot of like, wait a minute, this completely changes the nature of the character. What the fuck <laughs> in in the character bios? God, I still I still love how like. The way that places like you see the the warm lighting coming from from the city against the blue light or the blue. It's uh, pretty uh, good. So good. Pompeo. Nice. Color theory. <laughs> the Knights of Pavoni. I didn't realize that uh, Knights of Pavonis were kind of mysterious. I guess I didn't- I well, I probably would be able to know if I were actually push forward in the story and such. Or at least the side story stuff. Uh, who knows, if we get through this part really fast, maybe, uh... Actually, wait, is this an entire long story sequence? Or is this like, um... Hold on, I could just easily check this right now. There we go. Okay. Let's see, complete traveler observation to access the event chalk prints and the dragon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes, curves. Think of the Mona event. I have not done the Mona event. Unless you're talking about the, um,. The official and Mona event. Oh, the meteor. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, so more parts will unlock. So yeah, if that's the case, then yeah, I'd be down for like kind of just completing this part and then maybe, uh, maybe, maybe getting started on that Klee one for once. Uh oh. Oh my god, so much damage now, so much damage now. She 
Jeez. Huh? Folks, I'm starting to enter the thousands now. Mysterious because their main force is gone. The headmaster seems to be someone from another world, and Kaya is quite mysterious. Kaya, why do you have to be so mysterious? Can't you wait stop? Wait a being, minute. Can't you stop being mysterious for just one moment? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. What? Headmaster. Yeah. Forgot his name. Does anyone know if they were name dropped? Because I get the feeling I might know who that is. Um, I keep, they, I know they meant, one person mentioned. I'm almost positive one person mentioned the name at some point. Varka. Yeah, I think that might be the, the name. No, no, wait, is it? Mm. Oh, someone's in trouble. That? If this man's Dainsleaf? Was it really? No. No, Dainsleaf is not that. That's the that's the name of the narrator. The it's Varka. Okay. Dainsleaf is the narrator and the caped emo guy with the blue and <sighs> you know. Yeah, someone I don't know. <sighs> He's the narrator. The uh, YouTube videos. What are you doing here, Traveler? I was out looking for raw meat, but not having so much luck so far. Could you help me? I only need three raw meats. Sure, I guess. Here you go. Oh, you guess I'll fight. Oh, you're not the person to have in here. I mean, I, I know I you did damage with the combination of Mona and, and and company, but like, good grief! Oh, since I'm up here, must well take this path. Oh, why hello there! Oh god, that's a lot of health, though. on a special. <laughs> I friends where you at? Yeah, yeah, that's me uh, messing up real bad there. Ah, more enemies for me to cost. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, hmm. What's my plan here? Yeah. All the enemies I want to attack are far away. Never mind. Attack my pl my plants. Come to the there go. Of I cannot believe how much I just, how many times I just generate that. Ah. Me up! No, you destroyed it again. Burst forward. Jump, yeah. jump. Ah. 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 
I can't tell if I'm, I'm breaking these guys faster or not. Stop moving! emoji. Hmm. Oh, I need I need to see how this feels like with the uh with the old combo here. Still got hurt, anyways. All right, let's see how 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 well this works. Shadows of fate, written in the stars. My royal decree. Ow. Jeez. Okay, okay. Then. That was that was because Mona did her super, but like, good grief. So apparently, uh, I mean, uh, that could also mean that I just melt faster, melt things faster with uh, this team, but <laughs> perhaps, Ben here, perhaps. We'll stay. There's people here. There's multiple people here. Hi, you look important. Hey there. Frozen the bone? Come and warm yourself back up with nice hot food. Uh, who are you? The name's Harris. I'm a chef and the person who built this camp. I came here to, to, to help the adventurers in the air and to make sure that they get a bowl of hot soup at the end of the long day of adventure. I reckon there's no joy, no greater joy than feeling the hot soup in your system when you're just about frozen stiff. The essence of culinary pursuits is to bring people satisfaction and joy, is it not? It's a shame that lots of chefs have forgotten this. Personally, I was taught this simple principle by a young female chef who I met by chance while traveling in Liyue. Hmm. Okay. Cur must have mad artifacts. Come and have some hot soup, or you might just freeze. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. Yeah, she's level 50, isn't she? I didn't know what I I legit I have no idea what it's meant to be strong at all at this point, because like the way I play is so weird. Like Klee's the only one that does so much damage. Everyone else just does like pitiful amounts of damage. Come and have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotcha, I gotcha. Wrong button. Uh, so I like something. Whatever you're hungry for, just say the word. This weather's ripe for piping hot meal. Huh. You know what? Sure. Jewelry soup. I don't think I can make that one yet, I think. But that does give me some defense buffs, so... Oh, that would strengthen... Uh, that would strengthen a certain someone's attacks, wouldn't it? I'm too late to cook these, so. Maybe... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna buy these. Just gonna too late to make it myself. You wait. What I? Okay. <sighs> if only someone could help me out. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to be talking to myself like that. Well, <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Uh, what's the matter? Well, here's how it is. I'm a researcher specializing in ancient history. Thanks to Miss Iris, I received and read a truly enlightening document recently. She found it here on Dragonspine, and I believe the mountain must have, must be home to more lost texts. If we had more of them, I would definitely make progress in my research. Never mind weapons or ancient currency, these texts are the true treasures here. Have you gained anything from your trip so far? 
Ah, oh, don't get me started. Iris is far too busy, so I have had to scale the mountain myself. Almost lost my life in the process, never mind finding any ancient texts. But I wouldn't say that I gained nothing from all this. I did find some other things, such as this crown. My guess is that this was left behind by those people who wanted to conquer Dragonspine. One can only wonder as to the trials and tribulations that they may have encountered. I fear we can only discover a few things about the past of these relics. Ah, <sighs> sorry. I'm rambling. I've already gleaned all that I could from this item. From the looks of you, you must be an adventurer, so why don't you take this with you? Don't stand on ceremony. It's no use to me anyway, and what's more, I may require your assistance in the future too. Broken Rhymes Echo. Huh, what is that for actually? So, uh, Chain, about that thing about also doing damage at the, uh, the, the level that I'm at and stuff like that, uh, it may have something to do with the fact that, um, okay, and increases level of Palm Vortex. Neat. And targets, uh, targets who take damage from Gust Surge have an animal decrease, re animal resistance decreased. Okay, neat, neat, neat. Anyways, so, um, What's actually happening there is that Mona is, let's see, Mona is causing a, I think, uh, increased uh, elemental reaction. Um, Fischl is, you know, bringing in the uh, uh, Electro to cause the overloaded and then Klee just destroys things. Some so it's it's a group effort. It's not it's not just Klee doing stuff on her own. It's it is a entirely group effort. Uh, all right. So what do you got to say, Iris? Look at that. You are a basic NPC, but you have something something almost unique about yourself. Sort of, kind of. Excuse me. Did, do you want something? Um, it's kind of chilly up here. Cold is the norm when you're up a mountain like this one. You must be a traveler. So, are you planning on scaling the mountain? Eh, just have a look. Fair enough. I'm not going to try and stop you. I've had, I've met my share of travelers, and whatever you say, there's no dissuading them. All I will say is, if you're serious about this, is to keep an eye on your body temperature at all times. If your temperature drops too low, not only will it slow you down, but you can also injure yourself. And if you're unlucky to get attacked by a monster in that state, well, that's the last situation you'll want to find yourself in. So, if your temperature date drops dangerously low, get yourself to a source of heat and warm back up while you plan your next move. In short, and I know you've probably heard this plenty of times, but it's true, this is by far the most dangerous place in all of Mondstadt. When you're climbing a mountain, you must always plan your movements carefully. I've seen more than a few adventurers lose their lives because they didn't think of it before they acted. All right, I won't let you any longer. Just be be sure to prepare yourself before you set out. Aw. Oh. So what can you tell me about Dragonspine? Alfie, the intelligence department says that the Dragonspine is a sort of connection with the evil dragon that fought Duvalin in the past. Though none of that really interests me. As far as I'm concerned, this is just a pl place worth adventuring in. Something about that seems a little weird to me. <laughs> oh my god, Jane. <laughs> Something about that seems weird that like, you know, like, yeah, that history doesn't matter to me. Because as an adventurer. Fuck history. Yeah, it's, I'm like, I'm like, uh, but I mean, I, I, I can, you know, I guess you, you live for the thrill of exciting things, but. I don't know. I always feel like there's like some part of some adventurers, like unless you're like a bodyguard or mercenary or whatnot, like if you're an adventure adventurer, you're kind of interested in learning about stuff. Then again, she maybe just talk about like, hey, you know what? Yeah, that's cool and all, but I want to know everything about this place. So that might be what she's up to. One thing to note is that this place is more dangerous than any other place in Mondstadt. In this extreme cold, you must first prioritize your first priority must be maintaining your body temperature. 
bravery and foolhardiness are not to be equally equated lightly here. It is best to proceed with a plan, lest you lose your life in vain. So, this place is that dangerous, huh? I would strongly caution against venturing into these parts on a whim. Low temperatures, monsters, rugged terrain, everything here is far more dangerous than one would imagine. Here are some of my notes from Adventuring in Dragon Spine. Take them with you. I trust they'll be of some use. Hmm. Exploration knowledge. If only we had some help here. Okay, so... Sub-Zero Climate. In Sub-Zero Climate, you'll continuously accumulate sheer cold. When sheer cold reaches its limit, your characters will rapidly start losing HP. Apart from that, due to Dragon Spine's unique ley line structure and climate, you may be unable to use some gadgets. Huh. So we, huh. Ju we, got, we just got some new gadgets, and now we can't use some of them. <laughs> Specifically, the compass does not work. Oh, okay. Hey. Which was... <laughs> a little disappointing because I spent so much time getting it so I could find ex have an easier time finding treasure chests, but oh well. Mm. I'm gonna they make might... me do it the hard way. Maybe they'll they'll and come up with that. a new thing for you to craft in here. Uh, bonfires and other sources of heat will diminish sheer cold. There might be others, uh, also some special items that lessen the effects of sheer cold. Certain conditions like snowstorms and actions like swimming will accelerate sheer cold's accumulation. Carefully plan your route ahead of time and make sure you'll survive a trip through Sub-Zero climate. So avoid uh, jumping in, in in water. Gotcha. I created it's not another as universe. fast as they make it out to be, but... Oh, they pulled back. Oh. Lucky well, dogs I mean, eagle. the thing is because there are certain points where you are kind of forced to swim. I... But it's not pleasant. I feel like they, if you're forced to swim through certain areas, I feel like they should have given you an item at that moment to be like, hey, take this. I'm not even sure if, they, if there are any moments where you have to. Well, if you got Benty, you don't have to. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have them and I so don't have to. So How? I, was, I only like messed up one jump and landed in water. That's it. How are things on Dragon Spine? On this mountain? Well, I can only say that it's more dangerous than any other place in Mondstadt. Apart from the harsh conditions, this mountain is also home to some strange... ice. This ice is incredibly hard to break and will not melt when exposed to fire. It has proved a major obstacle to our exploration as a result. Unfortunately, we have been unable to find a way to deal with that ice, so we've had to go around it. I'll have a look at it. You're just going to have a look, right? If so, I remember there was a large slab of ice that, uh, that kind on the mountain's outer boundaries. So who knows what's frozen inside of it? You could have a look around, but remember, it's best to come come this way again. Okay. Hmm, it's nothing the matter. Did you come here to see the sights, or did that boy Cyrus send you here on some commission? Well, whatever your reasons are for being here, may maybe stay in your garden at all times. Um, that boy Cyrus? Yes, Cyrus is my younger brother. We used to go on adventures together. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Um, I keep forgetting the auto... Okay, I don't know about how to feel about the autoplay being on the X button now. Because X button is also the talk to people button. Yeah, this should have been on the Y button instead. Uh, can you change that, I wonder? Oh. We haven't traveled together in some time. I did receive the, an offer to become a guild branch master myself, but I refused. As far as I'm concerned, it's much easier to be a regular adventurer. Your his sister. I guess there's some grain in her hair. Yes, we actually look quite alike, don't you think? As for why he's from Mondstadt, while I'm, while I look like from I'm from Liyue, it's a long story. Something to do with our parents. Huh. Do you mean to ask why I look younger than he does? There's no big secret behind it. It's just a matter of maintenance and attention. <laughs> Moisturize. Oh my god. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh. There's no, uh... That's unfortunate for me. Okay. 
I'm really hoping that they do. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to try to send them a message saying, uh, like a feedback saying, "Hey, uh, you know, allow us to pick what button to pick for uh, uh for the thing, or at least let's change the freaking Y button." Also, I'm still love how um uh, it's called open Paimon menu. It's not open pause menu. It's Paimon I menu. I created an. See. So tell me about the ice. If you just have a look at the ice, you can just go to the place that I mentioned. Or if you'd like, just like to have a look at the ice, you can just go to the place I mentioned. For your own safety, don't go further into the mountain. Okay. Or just be on PC and have an extra thinking emoji. Just bow. Ah, you look important. Hello there, child. Where's Daddy gone? What's the matter? Uh, um, hello, I, I, I can't find my Daddy. He said that he would come back and pick me up, and that we'd go to watch the snow together, but time we arranged has come and gone, and he isn't here yet. I thought that must be why he... I thought that he must have found some rare and precious treasure map or something, which is why he hasn't come find me yet. It has to be it, right? So I came to the Dragon Spy myself. If he's not going to come find me, then I'll go looking for him. Or so I thought. But I didn't find Daddy here either. At Knights of Favonius over there said he'd headed off for the mountain summit. I wanted to go search for him, but the knight wouldn't let me, so I'm stuck here waiting for Daddy to come back. But he hasn't come back at all, and I'm worried. If you're going to the Dragon Spy, could you help me look for Daddy? Um, where should I look? Also, like, insert joke about uh, milk and such. Whoa, hey, that's a uh, mountain looking pretty ominous up there. <laughs> that, uh, whew, that looks plenty evil up there. Um, you'll do it? Great. Uh, let me think. That knight said that Daddy did mention going to follow the snow-covered path upwards first. Then he said he'd head over to the outskirts of the intoned city to have a look before trying for the mountain summit. Please help me search for these areas. Daddy might still be near one of them. I mean, he promised we'd go see the snow together. There's no way he'd break his promise. Huh. That scene like setting up for some some bad times. Oh, hello. What is it? Um, who are you? My name is unimportant. Only my work is. Have you heard of the I weapon called? Weapons. Have you heard of the weapon called or named Cool Steel? It's a sword of the adventurer Herman, who was once famed throughout the continent. I forged it for him. Cool steel. I'm trying to remember that one. Is that the one that kind of like blinds people or? Though a number of people praised it quite highly. It was one of my more ordinary forging projects. For me, the most important weapon is the next one I'm making. That one alone deserves to be remembered as part of my legacy. Cool steelory, bro? No? No. Okay. I think it was the edgy hedgehog if I remember. <laughs> For a weapon, one that is destined to be remembered by all who hear its name. You can make as many mundane weapons as you like, and they would all be meaningless. That's the life of a blacksmith, not that of a weaponsmith. A true forge master needs only to build one famous weapon. I will use my life's worth of skill and sweat to forge that weapon. And once it is complete, all Tavat will remember it and me. It is for that reason I am here on this mountain, for it contains the materials that I have been searching for all this time. Materials? I've tried forging weapons from all kinds of materials, but each and every one of them has turned out to be completely unexceptional. This has led this has led me to understand the limits, the limitations of ordinary ores. 
Take this pole arm with you. It is a test piece that I once forged upon a time. But for the average person, it should make for a fine weapon. Yep, another fine black tassel to add to my collection. <laughs> a, a fine addition to my collection. Did they get the... Yeah, I got that thing there. Alright, so... There's a lot of NPCs out here. Interesting. Yeah. Let me check this up here. Oh, treasure. Didn't even have to try for this one. I don't know if blade works. So, let's see. How does the view look like up here? Well, I see some interesting things to get over there. Uh, where are we now, then? We still haven't gone into the... No, wait. Is this... So, this is new territory, then. Right? Just about. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's try to make our way over here. Let's see what time is it? 3.39. Let's push it just a little slightly more. Let's, let's, let's follow this path just a little bit more. I think that is everyone we're going to talk to around here. And also, I'm sorry. Don't forget to never get the quest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, I guess I would have gotten that anyways. <laughs> Sister Rosaria, so here you Barbara. are. Barbara, choir practice. Sister, I've told you already. Oh, no, I don't sister, go in just for that like... kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. Oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my job description. You, uh, you look a little sickly there. Huh. I typically feel like there's nothing... When has there ever been anything positive from something... With the name of Rosaria. Damn. Why also, this such a bitch. She, she she makes me sus. She makes me mad sus, bro. I think she might be playing imposter this round. <laughs> oh my god. I, uh, I mean, sure, but. But what? You're the event organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? You don't seem to behave like a nun, or a sister. What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool out of you. Huh? Well, th that can't be. People aren't like that. <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. What? Th I... Are you just sim <laughs> Are you just did part of the church just, just for the aesthetic? Just, did she just facts don't care about your feelings, Barbara? <laughs> Perhaps, but like, I'm just still caught up with the fact that like, you know... Just, Lady, you, you, are you just in the church for the aesthetic? Don't fret. Nobody's going to blame you if you go back empty handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was going to show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. You're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've got to get going. Bye. Go, Barbara, go! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Jay Wolf. Hmm. Seems like that nun's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. I thought I heard something. Hi! Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? Literally walking by. You better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. <laughs> oh, really? 
I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? I mean, you're... You're Lady of the Cloth that's talking like that. Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. And as for this outlander you seem to be following... Uh, huh. So it's you. The honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the nuns of Mondstadt have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Fair enough, but... Hmm. That doesn't kidding. sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. <sighs> Yes, I'm getting Scaramouche vibes off of you. You're mad sus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's Ch talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? Chain, Chain, look, when you when you say that you gotta go to, to do uh do your confessionals and stuff like that, like I I don't think we we'll have to make sure she's not in that day. Chain, you don't need her. You have for me. Amazing. Um, we're looking for Albedo. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Sorry, Rob. So I'm not investigating the truth. I'm looking for where he's at. Here he's at. Okay. Seriously, though, you are a nun. What is up with your hands? That is, a nun does not. Like, what are those? What are those? A nun does not walk around with these clawed talons like this. It's called fashion. She's a nun. You're not. You, I, I, <sighs> Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No, this is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. Constant vigilance! Fair enough, Damon. Fair enough. I, you know what? You know what, Damon? No, you make a good point. You make a good point. And I was about to say, as far as nuns go, you're very mysterious. I'm going to say you're more like a detective. I couldn't care what you think. Come on, then. I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. Okay. Rosaria said there were elemental traces in the tracks. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Okay, let me talk to you first. A bowl of hot soup. So cold, huh? Is that someone trying to talk to me, or is that the cold making me delirious again? Walk back over there, buddy! <laughs> it's okay. both. I, I guess I wasn't hallucinating at all. Well, what is it? Uh, who would you be? Oh, I see, Damon. What, can't you tell? I'm an elite member of the Treasure Hoarders. <laughs> Our boss reckons that this... In inhospitable mountain must be home to lots of treasures, and I was sent here to scout out the way. Never expected to be this cold, though. You here for treasure, too? Go if you want to. I'm not going to stop you. But once you do, you'll know how cold this place is. <laughs> okay, buddy. What else you got to say? This place is terrifying. I went up to the mountain once. Not only did I find nothing, but I basically turned into a popsicle with boot. Man, I could go for a bowl of hot soup right about now. Ah, that's the good stuff. Can you smell that? There's a campsite ahead. The chef is always making soup. I can smell it here from all the way over here. Why don't you go have a bowl? Ah, I know what a reputation's like around here. Everyone thinks we're a bunch of pro reprobate crooks. Well, 
Is that, if that's what we are, then we should act the part. I'm an elite member to boots. I'm gonna just act all meek and mild over a bowl of soup. Achoo. 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 Yeah, ah. well, Spite's not gonna save you from hypothermia, buddy. Ah, a bowl of hot soup in this weather would be an archon scent and no mistake. No! This is a matter of pride of test of will. I will not give in. I can't give in. Okay, buddy. Then perish from your pride. Mm -hmm. Then perish. <laughs> Save her. I'm tempted to find that dude over there, but uh, let us go see what's going on over here. Um, That's snow, right? Yeah, that's snow. I don't like this already. Go ahead and hold the shortcut. Sub-Zero Climates. Characters in Sub-Zero Climate will continuously accumulate sheer cold. When sheer cold I created limits, another universe you know, and found HP. a paradise. Bonfires and other sources I, of heat. Fischl, and the princess and the for Earth. Are those... What? What? <gasps> what? Probably. Yeah. Oh, dear God, that's mean! But you could also firebomb that, uh, torch with glee. Ah, I'm a fire, I'm a fire! <laughs> yeah, don't get too close. So I mean, I guess that's why we stay warm. I, I'm slightly disappointed that they don't allow you to just use Klee and just firebomb your way up the mountain, leaving a path of fire. But I, I entirely understand of how insanely trivial that would make this. <laughs> but then again, still walking up the mountain with Klee is still surprisingly easy. Hi. Ow. Good trade, good trade. Bye. Wait, what? <laughs> He's just refusing to die. There. How badly do I want that? It's blue. Why are you doing this to me, game? Rhyme worn fragments? Huh. Interesting. Oh god, I'm on fire. Let's see. Just bomb everything. You, uh, you look. Want to taste a mine? Not really, but uh. How did I get down here? I'd rather not. Or you throw that to Glee? I'll be taking that. Oh wait, emergency supply point. Is this emergency supply point? If you should need anything, you may take, you may help yourself to the materials in here. Huh, interesting. You know, little pixie, your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Uh, yeah. After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. You're so suspicious! Why is Paimon a criminal in your example? <laughs> yes, Paimon, have you have you ever considered using your powers in, for, for bad, for evil in the past? Scarlet Quartz. 
I sure am thinking of it now. The odd gems called Scarlet Quartzes contain a certain kind of warming energy. Break them and collect their fragments and engulf your character in that energy. I see. Under its influence, you will stop killing with sheer cold. You can use this effect to keep warm for an extended period of time. Attack an opponent before its duration ends to release all the accumulated energy at once. For some reason, however, warping to a teleport waypoint or statue of seven will cause the power of the scarlet to dissipate. Yep. You can also use that. Actually, no, I think the game tells you about that. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here, you. No, but enemies. This. Ow! I couldn't dodge. Why did you do that? Whatever. There's a lot of Fatui around here. Ow! Oh my god! Uh. I wasn't paying attention there. I, I what happened there? Well, that's a lot of damage. Uh, I wanna go. What? Uh. Oh, there's two of them there. What you need a great undertaking. Oh god. This was well done. Where'd you go? Here, sir, I need you to stop. Oh god, I don't have my damage dealer! I need to heal him. Not what I wanted. Oh, this music though. This music though. It's good. What? Okay, cool. Thank you for just having. All right. There we go. Maybe I should have a uh, Mona company here. Freeze! <laughs> oh. Okay. Freeze the ball, bird boy. Coming to be. Moment of birth. This was well done. Look at you, Boozeal. Can't think of much of a follow there, Phoenix. Oh wow, you hit me out of that? Oh, I am doing like no damage to him. Holy cuckoo. Uh you know what? Let me walk away from this, because I'm doing nothing to them. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna walk away now. Star Silver. Interesting. 
Oh, hey, they come back too. Oh God, where'd you? Ah! <laughs> Go away! No. All right, let's let's not use that team. Let's not use that team. That team does not seem to have any kind of uh, cohesion, I guess. I mean, I could chain. I could, or I could just use this instead. Come here, you. Shadows of fate. By royal decree. Oh, now you bump, uh, jump around. Oh God! Ow! Why do you attack me? Nothing. Oh God! Let me scrub. This was written in the stone. Leave my space. Ow! Ow! I thought you were actually gonna not. Give me health, give me health, give me more health, give me more health than that! There we go! Oh, that's some big damage! There we go. Let's see, start so getting me out. Rhyme one fragment. <laughs> Kirby play on hard mode. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I don't want to alarm you, but the uh, d d d oh shoot! Uh, th thank you. Um. Oh no. Oh my God! Hey, thank you very, very much for that, Terra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> How they, much? Uh, it was 250. Holy cuckoo, dude. <laughs> what the heck? Thank you so much. Mm, Explosion wow, inside city wall. I, Grounded be thy it begins. Well. Wolfie, what oh, do you explosions mean? Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. It's there's no Must it begins be here. It's it's creepy, Thank you so much for that terrorist. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, thank you so much for that. Wolfie, are you colluding? <laughs> It's collusion. <laughs> so, it's collusion. Wait, yes, that's not... Mr. President. <laughs> um, thank you Duh. so much for that. Thank you, Duh. thank you, thank you, thank you, Terrace. Just, just... Uh, well, I guess that means I should be, you know, I was thinking about, you know, ending soon, but, you know, maybe nope. I should... No, 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 listen, listen, we should be, you know, checking a little bit more here. Bible rules that the Knights of Favonius <laughs> gave me. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Terrace! <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Look, I don't have to. I don't really have to work on any avatars now. There's like literally, I just there's nothing I gotta be stressing over right now. So it's fine. It's fine. Consider this, you know, a, a opportunity for me to be relaxing. By which I mean I'm playing gotcha games to relax in some strange way. Somehow, some way, some way. the gotcha has been the solution. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that, Terrace. Oh my God. Oh my god, that was... Huh. Sorry, I just needed a moment just to re like, you know, think about that one right there. Thank you so much for that. Oh. Who are you? It's getting colder and colder. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Me? <laughs> I'm alright. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Seems 
shadows of my royal de Oh, I looked away. What's the achievement I got? Wow! Uh, get back over here, lady! Ow! Get down here! Down here, I say! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God! Fine, you can keep that corner. Jeez. You coming out or what? Oh, wait. Hey, Superconduct. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you got? What you got? Oh, God, you got that. Oh, Ooh. God. Oh my god, you actually have some abilities there. Um I need you to generate I need you to generate Oh crap, we're a long way before we're generating that. Crap, she got away. Stop attacking the other things! Oh god! Don't want to attack those other ones! Ah! Alright, alright, things are a little tough here. Everyone here is almost like a boss. But, you know, it's not it's it's not that bad, you know. I can't wait, I can't set the I can't set the, the ground on fire? Huh. You know, I just realized something else that sucks is that Oh no, I, okay, I thought I was gonna be I was close to adventure rank uh forty-five. Oh boy! Air forty-five is when things really start dropping good loot. I swear to God, <laughs> Rosebud. Ah. Uh. Wolfie, so what's with heavy. those emojis? What's with those emojis? No, no, no. Uh, Wolfie. You can't just say Rosebud. You gotta. You, you gotta, like, do the mouth movement, too, where it's like, Rosebud. <laughs> like that. Oh, God! Oh, God! What are you doing here? Delve into destiny. I know it's a bad idea to use that, but I need to help for, uh... Hey. I had no I reason that, to fight the thing. Hmm? I know that movie gets memed and Rosebud gets memed, but it's a legitimately good movie. It is probably one of the most gorgeously directed hmm. movies I've ever seen. Ooh, look at this scenery here. Oh no. <sighs> Alright, buddy. What a huge block of ice! Can you see what's stuck inside? Huh, what's with all this blue grass around here? So strange. Huh, this is strange. Can I light on a fire? <laughs> well, this is a, quite a conundrum. Can yeah, that, 
desecrate it with flame. Whoa, baby. Let me scratch. Whoa. Oh, reveal thyself. I can still set it up uh, 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 freeze it. Oh dear god. Oh my god! My <laughs> my wrist popped off. That's why uh, I, I couldn't do anything about that. I'm sorry, I died in the fight because my wrist detached itself. Yes, I know that sounds odd and such, but uh, uh, frost shield. I mean, if anything, it's probably the most justified reason. <sighs> Sorry, I appear to be experiencing a cute little failure. Shadows of fate. Whoa! You, uh, you have trouble there, buddy? Woo! Wings of darkness. Come, sever next. Ooh. Oh my god! I frames, yo! Hopefully the bit rate isn't dying at this moment, but. Well. Wow! I felt like I was playing- I was doing some DMC stuff right there. Jeez! Whew. You know, sometimes Genshin just pops off. <laughs> I feel like I'm just doing some things I shouldn't be doing. Like, like these things I'm fight. I guess I'm level 50 Klee fighting like level- what was that thing? Like level uh, 60, 70? this ancient rhyme these special ice blocks covered in peculiar patterns cannot be melted with pyro attacks the special ice blocks covered in peculiar oh yeah only with an attack affected by scarlet quartz can you neutralize the mysterious energy with this kind of solid ice oh, oh thank thank you because i've been trying to look at that information and it just never allowed me to and I ended up having to figure that out on my own. Where'd the other one go? There you are. This place is here. Destiny. I'm a little annoyed my other, uh, uh, spark. Explode that thing before I had a chance to do anything else, but whatever. All right, I guess I can find another one then. I'm wandering around on a mountain at nighttime. This seems like a bad idea. Is there any other quartz around here? You know what? Very out. Ah. Maybe there's some more up there. These mobs better have better move sets. <laughs> These mobs have better movesets than the bosses and world bosses. <laughs> Whoa, what's... what are you about? Fire Sealy? Warming Sealy. Dragon Spine is home to mutated creatures called Warming Sealy. They continuously emit heat that diminishes sheer cold. Neat. I won't follow you though. <laughs> you know, all around me are familiar faces. Kind of a random topic, but I just really like the taste of alcohol. <laughs> Almost anything. <laughs> but the shock that I'm eating. It's got like a tiny bit of like Irish whiskey and um. <laughs> in the cur. 
<laughs> Sorry. Just... <laughs> and it actually tastes really nice. It adds a nice complex flavor to it. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little too funny there. Just the whole... <laughs> hey, I'm going to get higher ground. LOL, no. Thank you oh, for following no. there, Loman. Hello. Alright, we got some more of this. Oh, oh no, I thought you regenerate. Okay, so. Those uh, Scarlet Quartz do not come back, it seems, when you're using it for. Uh, um, breaking those things, apparently. Interesting. I guess it's meant to be more of a puzzle. Warming ceiling. There's another one! But we got some enemies here to cost, so let me just go do that right quick. Heal first. Whoa, that was uh... Oh, I play on peace peace. What can you do cross playing? Well typically anyways, I, I do like a uh Typically, be more single player than anything. Ooh, item. You know how you brought one in this area and used it to attack the big guy? <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could do the. Oh, enemies! Level seventy. Let me scrap. Oh, yeah, is rough. No! Dang it! I used Scarlet Quartz on them. Oh my god, I instinctively pressed the button to... <sighs> Re. Wait, there you are. Alright, is that all I needed? La, la, la. Switch character, and then... Hey! What is this? Uh It's a surprise tool that I'll help you later. Frostbearing tree awakening. The ancient tree that should Oh, okay. Eh, that thing just flew up there in the sky. It looked like it was going toward the mountain summit. Shall we have a go have a go? Shall we go and have a look around, or should we go back and ask someone about the situation? I think I want to ask about the situation, because what the heck? Rewards. Reach offering level 2 to obtain. Oh! Interesting. <laughs> I have a reputation system with the mountain here, apparently. Let's see. Oh, I I haven't finished Act Two myself, uh, Loman. Let's see. Crimson Wish. It is not a wish thing like the um. Yeah, I figured as much. Wish. Huh. Oh wait, there's items here. Uh let's see. What about here? Diagram warming bottle. Aha. Let's see. Oh, this is meant for you to keep coming back at uh, uh, to tackle this thing, huh? Wings of concealing snow. Ooh. Frostbearing ancient tree. Oh, that's a nameplate, isn't it? Witty wings. Okay. 
So, required material. Crimson agate? A type of crystal formed from the combination of concentrated life force with an energy unique to dragon spine. Makes for an ideal nutrient for growing frost bearing trees. Huh. When exploring the dragon spine region, you'll f sometimes find a kind of crystalline substance known as crimson gate. Offering these crimson gates to frostbearing trees may yield yet uh, may ye yet yield rich rewards. Dot dot dot. Interesting. But I need a whole bunch right now, don't I? Yep. Huh. Okay. What I should probably do is try to. Ah, uh, what what do I do next? What do I do next? Do I go report this or do I go keep pushing forward? Hmm. I gotta know. I got. I got. I got to report this. I gotta report this. I don't think it's a good idea for me to be like surfing under the water. Like, has anyone thought about that? Like, you know, just kind of just dive underwater as Mona and just kind of surfing and such. It's like a bad idea. Ah, oh, I gotta deal with this thing on the way back, don't I? I'll teleport on the way back. Let's see. Alright, so Iris, I've got something to tell you. Wait, what? Uh What? Wasn't that like a Dragon Spine in the Mountains Adventurer? Oh. Oh, I have to keep going up. Okay. Continue from here. I oh, yeah, the data rolled over. Mm. Yeah, help out with this, please. Thank you very much. All right, onward. So this way, that way. Follow the warming Sealy. Wait, do we? Oh. But... Fine. Wait, wait, what's this here? Money! That's what it was. Oh no. What's this about? You're just... You're just randomly painting a picture here. Wait, what? Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves sketching. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Sketches everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? <laughs> well. Uh -oh. No, nope. we're in danger. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? Thank the gods I'd already completed my sketch. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly trails unfinished. I thought you were sketching a landscape. What's up with sketching 
hilly churls. What makes them so interesting? Hmm. I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my sketch, it may give you a clue. <laughs> Very, uh, avant-garde. Wow! Look at the detail! But some of it seems to have been done in a hurry. You can find these holy churls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat, and there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the gnome to the un- It holds your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. I wonder if she's undead. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me. Mm-hmm. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. Um... I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. Uh, from another world, correct? Yeah, I... Mm. Let's see what I want to go for. You're worthy of your scholarly reputation or correct? I kind of like that you can go with either just like yes or wordy response. Saying yes. You know what? Just to make my sound sound uh, sound fancy or, or, or cool in his eyes. You are worthy of your scholarly reputations, my good sir. Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm. The essence of life? Uh, too early. Whoa, whoa. Too far early. You wanna start with that? Hmm. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. You can do that? But alchemy really is miraculous. However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom. That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. So, I'm an object of research? Shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. Uh, is there any danger? It's possible. But I will do everything in my control to ensure your safety. Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. <laughs> my goodness, there's science to be done here. Oh! Oh! Rosario? Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I wonder, does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? Huh. First experiment, elements. Head to the test site. Where is this at? I'm freezing over here. We were we were conversing here while being yeah, yeah, yeah. frozen. He's giving me hate. They do not. Uh... 
Ah, oh, there we go. That's a lot of raw meat I got from that. Mm. Oh, that's way too far up. I'm not going for that. Oh. No, it's not. That's just quitter talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm also curious about that, but now I'm just kind of wondering if she's, uh, if she's undead. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna do something completely crazy here. I'm going. Oh well, never mind. That ain't happening right now. Guess what? You're not. Or not? I thought you were done. There we go. All right, so uh, I've got reason to go for these uh, these things now. Normally, I kind of like just kind of ignore them just a slight bit, but now I feel a little slight motivation towards uh, gathering these things now. <laughs> now that I actually get some goodies from that. Hmm. Well, you get goodies from the other ones too. Yeah, but like. I'm talking about, like, trinkets. Mm. Uh, to each their own, Snowy. Oh, there we go. Grab this real quick. So, it's right here. What? 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 Uh. Wh what? Cell, what? what the heck? Wh what? Re Cell, what? Oh my god. 420? <laughs> oh god. Oh. I just drop a bunch of money. Oh my god. Thank you very Get much. Get your nices in chat. Re. Bark. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck, you guys? Hello. Re. Re. Ah, I thank you very much for that. Glory, comfy. <laughs> Hi, Nevea. Yes, Re. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Oh, man. I... Merry Christmas! Yeah, yeah, no, I, I need to, I need to be doing, I need to be doing stuff to... I need to be doing stuff to, to make you guys proud, prouder. I need to... Ah... Uh... Thank you so much for that. Uh fashionably late. I am. I. I am. Are you winning, son? <laughs> I. Yeah. I. I. I'm. I'm gonna be. I don't know how to put it into words, but just like I, I will. I'll be doing. I'll be trying to do what I can to be making you guys like even more proud. I guess. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can manage to do, uh, make things kind of like uh, what is it? Uh, how to explain it? Like uh. uh Show you guys that I can actually blossom and such. There we go. There we go. I'll I'll I'll, I'll word it like that. I'll word it like that. <sighs> all right, all right. We got we got we got we got a mountain to climb here. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. 
the, the way I I don't know I can't promise that I can't that's the thing I can't promise <laughs> I can't promise that right there oh can you double sack this Question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know, but I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Uh... <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? Brain, but what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Yeah, I kind of want to know about this too. Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. <laughs> Yay! Simon's holding you to it. I okay. I I, I wasn't expecting Albedo to just basically be like a charming person as well. Like there was like there was like no hesitation. He was already being charming there. Well, let's just say I uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. Hmm. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. Ah, yes. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? Uh, I... A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. Not that I'm aware of. Fascinating. Not that I'm willing to part with. And this floating child is connected to your body in some way. What a stupid question! Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing, it's Paimon, not floating child. I was <laughs> merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. <laughs> So this is science. <laughs> You're an external <laughs> organ. The scientific theory. I I caught Pymo with a fishing rod. Oh, that rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. Paimon, why are you looking sus there? Hey, 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 pa hey, hey. Paimon. Look, just because Kiana can do that doesn't mean Paimon can, okay? Pa Paimon, why are you- why is your icon on the-, the on this game? It's always Kiana in the past. Paimon? Paimon? Kiana? Hmm. No, that definitely can't be it. That's the correct hey, amount of simple syllables, anyway? right? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in their research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them, using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Um, as myself or as my crew? Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Actually, that is pretty sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, Oh, in six of units. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Slimes, slimes are fine. As long as I'm not being batted around by hydro mimics. Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, this is this is the right characters to be for this, right? Wait, where's the other enemy at? Uh... Oh, there you are. More okay. Let me scroll. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Heal with Fiona, just heal up a little tiny bit, Fiona. I don't know if I like these uh, science tests things here. Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Ah, it's just a bit cold. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. <laughs> These options. Will it make my stomach swirl? Will it crystallize in my stomach? <laughs> um, yeah, so will it make my stomach swirl? Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. That's not Try not to worry. That's not hugely reassuring. Why are we also doing this in the top of this mountain, by the way? Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Just a warning, if an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. So it's like a health checkup. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately not all of it is suitable. Hmm. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. All going Hooray, to plan. Out of the school. We should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Uh, Paimon's still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. Hmm. Well, we're still not out of the cold just yet. I'm gonna find these uh, star silver catalysts. Oh god, highly dangerous! I don't want that aura they've got around them. Hmm. Investigate. Oh, rip. Oh yeah, I was gonna test something out here. Um, so. What if, what if I do something crazy and remove Diona and put Albedo in here? What's going to happen? Let's investigate this further. What is going to happen? Oh, 
Uh, I think I might freeze. Is there any place to keep me warm around here? Here. Should do for catalyst purposes. Oh, God. I need warmth. I need warmth. I need warmth. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again, then. Oh, wait. Give me this. Okay, so that, that was an interesting test I was doing there. Or an uh, interesting um, outcome there. Usable with a bit of polish. Still not done yet, though. Come into beat, feel this ancient power. Jeez, I had to focus so hard on them. What is this thing? Is, oh, wait, that's making it colder for me. Oh. Interesting. What luck. This should be enough. My campsite is just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Huh. Oh, yeah, he said he'll lead the way, so... Lead the way! Hey. Ah! I see adventure down there. And a challenge. And items. Oh my god, there's a lot to be going for, isn't there? You uh, have a very precarious uh, campsite. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. Assistant Timaeus here is helping me with oh, my Timaeus. research. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Yeah, I'd Hello. say so. I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Whoa. I know this voice actor. You the data. You got all these results from How'd you send this? <laughs> I wouldn't call them results, inferences, and a few daring guesses, perhaps. Hold on, how did you already get this information? We just got up here. I swear I've heard this voice actor, and I want to say it was an a point-and-click game. <laughs> I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Oh, uh, rational? Actually, you know what? Wait, I would have thought even Paimon and I would be more closely related. I don't know how to feel about the fact that I understand everything that is happening here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, what about me and Paimon? Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. I don't know how to- Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. I don't know how to feel about being uh, equated to a slime. This Not bad is for a point of entry. Biology. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. Mm. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower, might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes, sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. 
If it turned out that he did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would! <laughs> Apologies, I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. <laughs> Speaking of God data, damn it. to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great, I'll leave you to it. Yes. I just finished my hell class on evolution. Why are they <laughs> sending me back? <laughs> <laughs> no! Hmm. Anywhere but here. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Hmm. Mm hmm In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times. And breathe deeply if you feel unwell. <laughs> I'll do my best, me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Was expecting to get all that there. Uh, hold on. Let me just, uh... Cabbage. I've just tried some. It's in line with my expectations. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. I'll be noting down all observable results and data points. Gotcha. All right. Also, quick question. Um, how much hi, more hi, of the... Hi, hmm? hi hello. Hi, hello. Uh, I have a quick question. How much more is there to the, uh, the story for this? Uh... Um, quite a bit, but part two is really short. Oh, wait, part two's already out? It came out today. Ah, I see. Okay. We thought it was yesterday, but it is. It was today. Gotcha, But gotcha. it's very short. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Yes. Very off-topic, but I, I just, I just like, uh, quickly try playing, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's for a little bit. <sighs> Raku, Raku, I have a... I have a, a, a Genshin stream going on right now. <laughs> right, but I'm just saying. Oh. I'm going to get a spray bottle for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I could use one of those. I have already forgotten where what it is. I'm, oh, right, it's supposed to be ingesting. There it is. Experimental potion. Classic. A potion that Albedo made using alchemy. Despite its unusual color, Albedo insists that the potion will work just as expected. Drinking it should not cause any adverse effects. Consume Activia! I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, I'm burning. What is this burning sensation, Albedo? Wait, why, Nevea? Tasty? You've got a funny look on your face. It's... It's burning! You said you tried some already! You sure it was ready? What happened to him? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. I think we're supposed to see you This tonight. potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. What about the risk to you? Perhaps it's just scholarly self-assurance, and it certainly speeds things up. In conclusion? I'd say we have our conclusion. <laughs> as far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. <laughs> then again, better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the... undesirable variety. I feel like you're referring to something in particular. The good thing about Ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience because you are them. But a peculiar person 
They don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. Mm. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyro regisfine or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? It still seems like there's another layer to the meaning of your words. To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. Hmm? I don't know how to feel about the fact that I am genuinely getting I am in a college Zoom call vibe <laughs> right now. From, <laughs> I don't stop. Game stop, please. Stop. By the way, I've returned. You have. Stop! You gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal wasn't very precise of me, but starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not uh, bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Hmm. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. Uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Hmm. Before we can proceed with our research, I need to... prepare something. Wait one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, where's the... The details, checking the details and such. Ah. I was trying to see, like, when, where's the part where it seems like we can just, like, step away from this. Shop. Let's put the items here. Crown of Insight. Okay. Glimmering Essence. Oh, I see some things I, will, I, I need here. Festering Dragon Marrow. Huh. By using a bloodthirsty sword with strong affinity for such materials, you can increase the sword's power. Interesting. Alright, so I think, um... I probably should just step away from the story for now. Oh. Going out into the world and investigating. Because it is getting late. the unknown into the late. known. <sighs> Gen I miss Genshin, this feeling. Genshin Impact. 